Austin from Willamette, it's Easy TV and Security. Today we're going to go back to basics and show you how to crimp on a Cat5, Cat6 uh, end. We, the tools we're going to need is a Cat5 crimper, a very small screwdriver, or a Cat5 stripper, a pair of um, side cutters, and just in case we need it, a, a blade. And let's do it. Yeah. So we've got a length of Cat5. Uh, this is external grade, so it's external duct grade cat 5. We've got our tools in front of us and we start. So we get our stripper, we have it set so that it's so it doesn't cut straight through into the actual cores underneath. Um, we did this previously. Pushing our cable into our stripper, twist it round a few times and if you look, if you can see it has it has cut the cable without damaging the cores and you just pull your cable out, your, your outer sheath off. This is where we use the blade just to cut the string off. Excellent. Excellent. Split your paired cores, twisted cores up and I found an easy way, so I seen somebody online, they showed, they, they was like, oh, we should do it like this. And I was like, wow, and why didn't I ever think of that? Get your small screwdriver, put it in between the two cores and just pull it up. And it, it separates them. I found that fascinating when I learned how to do that. And the next ones. And the next ones. That one's a bit tight, so just give it a bit of a wiggle. And that one, done. So separate the cars off. Give them a bit of a, between your finger and your thumb and just push them up. Push them so they pull on them so they straighten out. We're gonna be using pass-through connectors. Might get, I might get, I might get loads of comments about how, how I can't do it with a normal connector, but hey ho. I can do it with a normal connector. I'm just uh, being lazy today using a pass-through connector. Open them all up like that. So now we get the colours. It's very important that you get the colours the right way around. Um, for CCTV and network, uh, network um, situations, the, 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 the twists in the, in the, in the pairs uh, is why the it's how the data works, um, but it is very important to do it. So, the colours we need to use is orange and white, orange, green and white, green and white, and then blue, blue and white, green, brown and white, brown. What I do is get them all lined up and then give them a bit of a wiggle. So they all stay together. So orange and white, orange, green and white, blue, blue and white, green, brown and white, brown. Get my side cutters, cut them off so all the, all the straggly bits are gone. Get a pack of pass-through connectors. And the best thing about pass-through connectors is that you don't have to, you can have them as long as you want and they just come straight through like that and, and the other thing is you can check them before you crimp them so orange and white orange green and white blue blue and white green brown and white brown push that on I always shorten it by putting it through my crimpers before I crimp it and then with the passive crimpers you just push it through into your crimper crimp straight on and that's your Perfectly made RG45. So that's how we made off a RG45 on a Cat5 cable. Um, I hope you like the video and don't forget to like and share. Thank you for today. Bye bye.